Okay, so if you have been having trouble with Xbox Remote Play on your computer, and it looks something like this, and you've tried everything, you've checked your internet connection, you've disabled VPNs and firewalls, and you updated everything, and you made sure everything is working, but you're still having problems, maybe you're having the same problem I was. And I hope this video is able to fix that problem if that's the problem you're having. And it was something that I found by accident and almost would have never discovered otherwise. I got to a point where I was just like, all right, enough, I'm not gonna use it anymore, I'll figure something else out. But one day, you know, I, I hunkered in and I was like, no, I'm gonna figure this out. And I, and I started messing with a bunch of settings, restarted the computer, and I noticed it works now. And it wouldn't like stop working, so I, I just kind of assumed it worked. So I was like, oh, okay, I fixed it. And then I shut the computer off and then came back later and it's back to not working right again. I, and it was driving me insane. I could not figure it out, but I kept messing with it. And I noticed something though. Anytime I changed a setting and restarted the computer, it worked, but I couldn't get it to be consistent with the settings. And then I started thinking, hey, every time I restart the computer, it's working. Let me shut down and restart after a shutdown and see every time I turned the computer on after shutting down, it would lag and the frames per second would be low. But anytime I did a restart, it worked. So what I'm gonna do is tell you kind of two ways, it it's all revolves around the same fix, but two ways you can do it. Sure, you could turn on your computer and then instantly restart it to have remote play work, but there's an easier way to do this. Okay, so what you gotta do is go to control panel and you gotta find your power options. Okay, so right here, power options, which is in system and security. You click that and in power options, you'll see change what the power buttons do. You need that. And here you'll find an option called turn on fast startup. Now fast startup, what that does if that is enabled, it's a feature on windows that reduces the boot time but I don't even notice a difference when I have mine turned on or off, really. But it's kind of like a combination of a normal uh, shutdown and hibernation. It's, it's not quite hibernation, but it's, it's a combination, but it can cause some problems. And if you can't select this, you can click change settings that are currently unavailable, and that'll let you select this option right here. So whatever is going on in the computer when the fast startup is being used is causing the connection to remote play to not work right. And that's why every time I restarted the computer, it would work. And as you can see right here, it works fine. It works just like it always has for the few years before that I was using this. And every time I thought I was using a cold shutdown, it wouldn't because it wasn't fully shutting down and ending everything that was going on, I guess. But when you disable that option, every time you turn your computer on, it will act like you restarted it, like a cold, shut down having fast start would interfere and that was the problem i was having and i was able to recreate this every single time i tried it now sure this solution doesn't fix exactly the problem of what's causing fast startup to mess with that but i do know that either turning on your computer with fast start enabled and then restarting will hopefully at least for me it does fix the problem and also disabling fast startup will also fix the problem. So I do hope that if you were having the same problem I was having, that this video was helpful to you. And if you did watch this video, thank you. I appreciate it. And maybe I'll see you around on the internet again someday. Later.